guys, big ball up. Make sure to come if you mm -hmm, can. Mm -hmm. You know, me and Diego, we, we put this thing together and we've been putting a lot of hype behind it. April 16th. <laughs> Don't forget the date. We got the forms coming around too. Around Maud. <laughs> you should expect one. Uh, hopefully we win. Don't you have a track meet? Or if, like for districts or something I, coming so up? We did it after. We made sure to put it after the, the, uh, the uh, district track meet. Make sure to do it after. Okay. I was just making sure, but, you yeah. know, go ahead and flex. You know, I saw your little highlights from this past weekend. You know, you go ahead and flex. You know, U of A, I saw you at U of A. You've been doing, mm, bro, yeah, my guy. Figure. Did you see my prom, too? I know y'all saw my prom. That was my co-anchor. My co-anchor. Yeah. My best book. Like, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for your support. <laughs> well, that's it for today, Rams. My name is Audrey Facias. I'm Rixera Monty Vice, and this was Ram TV. Come to the second annual Big Ball Up on April 16th. It will be a tournament style competition where the winning team gets a cash prize. Basketball, of course. Just make sure to bring $4. All the money will go to the winning team. Fill out the QR code here to verify that your presence will be here at the Big Ball Up on April 16th. Student Council will be collecting gently used and washed mascara wands in D building and in the commons for the Wands for the Wildlife, a wildlife rehabilitation center. Donations will be collected until Thursday, April 14th. Disney Plus has implemented a new MCU show to its lineup. Moon Knight, played by Oscar Isaac, is about Mark Spector, a missionary who has disassociative identity disorder. He is drawn to a deadly mystery, deadly mystery involving Egyptian gods. Moon Knight is a fan favorite of Marvel comic fans, and they have been waiting for his appearance in the MCU. Rams, are y'all in need of community service hours? Well, our Rambotics got you. Starting earlier this week, up until April 12th, Robotics will be creating Easter baskets for their Easter basket drive. They will be collecting items such as baskets, plastic eggs, bags of candy, stuffed animals, and more. Their goal is to create 100 baskets. Each item will vary in the amount of hours given. Please drop off your items in D-Building. Sports were cooking up during March, with the NCAA tournament coming to an end. No matter who wins, the Final Four would add a championship to one of these historic Blue Blood programs. Will Coach K have a superhero ending by winning it all in his final season? Will North Carolina take the, take the crown by becoming the second eighth seed to win the championship? Will Villanova win its third national championship in a six-year span? Or will the Kansas Jayhawks prove the, that one seeds are all too powerful? We will, end up seeing, will we, we will end up seeing on Saturday who will face each other in the national championship. So just how I said you can trust me, you can trust me when I say that prom was amazingly lit, awesome, hectic, and most importantly, every other word that you can possibly think of. It was just that amazing. If you weren't there, then you, you had to be there. For my first and last prom, it was definitely a core memory. The Oscars happened this past Sunday, and it's safe to say that it is one that people will definitely remember. Chris Rock made a G.I. Jane joke towards Jada Smith, and Will Smith definitely did not appreciate the comment. He went up on the stage, slapped him, sat down, then proceeded to yell at Chris Rock to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. I like it, cut G. The movie Dune won six, Os won six Oscars that night, all pertaining to aspects in the movie such as editing, filming, and sound. Troy Coster from the movie Coda was the first deaf man to win an Oscar for acting. Best director has been awarded to back-to-back Best director has been awarded back to back to woman after Chloe Zhao won last year, and then Jane Champion took the dub this year. Today on Ramp to Be, the slap of the year happened this past Sunday. Prom was definitely a night to remember. I'm Ray Xavier Monty Vice. I'm Madri Pasillas. And this is Ram TV. Dude, no. It's backwards. April Fools! <laughs> oh, that was. I feel not like that. They love you at your last one. Today on Ram TV, the slap of the year happened this Sunday. Prom was definitely a night to remember. I'm Ray Xavier Monty Vice. Well, I, don't I don't know if it was this Sunday. <laughs> I don't know why I said this Sunday. <laughs> For my first and last prom, it was definitely a core memory. 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 First core. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be okay. I got one last I got one last story. Okay, alright. <laughs> the Oscars happened.
All right, what's going on, guys? It's Frank Gob, and I'm with Electric Frank Hal and uh, Ray Xavier Multivice. I get this interview. All right, so I'm Xavier Multivice from MTV, and I'm here with Alexa Don Hill. And Alexa, where are we? We're in Arizona on our way to Tucson for the Willie Williams meet. What are you excited for about the Arizona meet? Um, just to get out and compete against new people from like other schools. So. Yeah. Back to you later. Alright, I'm Xavier Monty Vice here from RamTV and we're interviewing Coach Cardin. Coach Cardin, how are you feeling about this Willie Williams meet? Oh, I'm really excited. I think we're going to run really, really well, the drop in altitude, and we're ready to uh, surprise some people by putting all of our relays together that they haven't seen. People have been, uh, they're going to be very, very surprised when we get to the district meet. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're coming from, especially in Arizona. So how do you think track is going to adjust to the Arizona heat? Oh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. You notice it's a little bit windy out here in school, so I don't think it's going to be a, a big adjustment for us. And then you guys are going to feel like you're loaded with oxygen because of the drop in altitude. Oh, yeah. We're, we're already here in Arizona. I can feel it. I can feel it already. Well, thank you, Coach Cardin. It was a pleasure getting an interview with you. No problem. Alright guys, we're here on device from Ram TV here and we're at I think that was terrible Chick-fil-A and we're gonna order some the number one I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elijah from 5470 Rambotics, and I'm here with your weekly STEM news. Our FTC season started in September. Throughout the season, both teams have been very successful and placed high up in the rankings. In January, we had our championship at to both teams placing first in Alliance Captain and first and second in the Inspire Award, qualifying both for regionals, which is in Lubbock. Lubbock was during February, both teams placed second in Alliance Captain Inspire. Both teams made themselves known by cheering for all teams competing. Team 5911 is now moving on towards the UIL state competition in April. Everyone will be cheering them on in hopes that they will win the competition. We are continuing to work hard in preparation for any future competitions during and after the season. Both teams robot essentially follow the same concept with an intake and delivery system. Did you know that 220 million tons of old computers and other technological hardware are trashed in the United States each year? That being said, we plan to see you on our next segment and improve your understanding of what we do in this amazing program. What do an aerospace engineer, cancer immunologist, and bat scientist all have in common? We all have cool jobs in STEM fields. Whether it's building robots or learning to code, Girls everywhere are finding their passion for science, technology, engineering, and math through positive role models and mentors. So dare to dive in, get connected, and explore. You never know what your future may hold. Learn more about these and even more cool jobs at SheCanSTEM.com. And here we go.
uh, UTEP Connect is the online part of the university. Imagine UTEP on campus, but going in a digital environment. Hello, my name is Katarina, and today I have my display for my career, which is a professional singer and actress. part of the Montwood Media Technology Program actually solidified my decision to go into the media industry. Uh, the advice that I would give to anybody interested in this specific career is do an internship. And once you do get that internship, that's your foot in the door. And also, never give up. Never let anybody dim your light. Uh, in this business, you know, you're going to have people that love you. You're going to have others that are maybe not too fond of you. Yeah. You just have to keep on going forward and do your best uh, job at what you do.